Well, welcome to uh, race one of week eight of the National Hunt. And here we are at Newbury for a two mile handicap. So 0 to 160. So number one is Dame Joanna Lumley. Two, Tornado Zofia. Three, Mary Junior. Four, Igugu Warrior Queen. Five, Samoa Sabbath. Six is Indy Allgate. Candy Apple Grey is seven. Best Phillipstown is eight. Lau Cookie is nine. Northern Rock, ten. Candy Duty, eleven. Hogmany, twelve. Thirteen, Rough Silk. Fourteen, Kinky Moore. Fifteen, Nojo. Francis Drake is sixteen. Elizabeth Fan is seventeen. Lobbying, eighteen. Pink Day 19, Herbert is 20, 21 is Dan Dare's girl, and 22 is paperwork. So a massive field here at 22 at Newbury. Heavy conditions. And already under the orders and are away. So she should go fairly fast. So I'm going to go past the grandstand. And then I have a circuit to go. And we're being led by a Pink Day and Elizabeth Van. These two. Uh, going to get over towards the rail now. So we've got this turn and a few of them are going to get caught wide. Paperwork's one at the back in the yellow silks but getting across. Some of the Sabbath has gone wide and the grey candy apple grey. So they go downhill there at Newbury. So they come round and uh, we'll get to the first hurdle. So it's still Elizabeth Fan and a pink day. They've got about a five length advantage over the chasing pack which is just being led by Hogmany and Loud Cookie with Kinky Moore in between and we've got Mary Junior, up, Mary Junior up against the fence and they're being followed through by Herbert Indy Allgate and Lobbying and we finally get to the first hurdle and there everybody is over it and then uh, the second sort of chasing pack uh, being led by Dan Dare's girl and Dame Joanna Lumley out wide. The widest of those is Nacho in the light blue silks. And we've got Tornado Zofia, Northern Rack, Best Phillips Town, Igugu Warrior Queen, Candy Dude, Rough Silk, Paperwork, Candy Apple Grand, Samoa Sabbath at the rear. So they get to the second flight and everybody's over that. They only have five more flights to to negotiate and they've just got over a mile to run so it's a pink down elizabeth van been there since the beginning going together into the third rise together over together as a remainder of the chasers we've got loud cookie in third on his own at the moment and then they're being followed by the mid-pack bunch the one still at the rear is samoa sabbath but he was caught wide on that very first bend it may well have cost him but still elizabeth van and a pink day well, their, their advantage has been shortened now by Loud Cookie with Hogman A. Herbert, Mary Jr. and Indy Allgate. And the pack behind that is Kinky Moore leading them through. Best Phillips Town against the fence. A few of them are out wide. Nacho still in the light blue silks. So we go past the six furlong pole. And they're starting to get a little bit closer order now. We've probably got about 12 lengths between first and last. And it's a pink day that heads for home first. Leads by just half a length now from Mary Junior running on well, as is Indy Allgate on the outside. Now Cookie's there, Hogmanay, the blue silks of Herbert. One moving well on the inside now is Kinky Moore. Coming out of the pack is Igugu Warrior Queen, who's going to take it up inside the three and a half furlong. So it's Igugu Warrior Queen that leads now, just by a length, running slightly into the middle of the course, but uh, happy to be out there. So it's Igugu Warrior Queen, takes the fifth. Everybody else is over it. The two at the rear of paperwork and Dan Dare's girl. But it's Igugu Warrior Queen. Leads by a couple of links now to Loud Cookie, Kinky Moore, Lobbying. One on the outside doing well now, Samoa Sabbath, who is in last and has had a great run and looks like he's going to challenge for first. So a furlong and a half left to run. It's Igugu Warrior Queen. They approach the last. Everybody's over it. So it's Igugu Warrior Queen on the inside. Loud Cookie, K Kinky Moore is third. Lobbying. The one moving up on the inside now is a pink day, but Igugu Warrior Queen being challenged by Loud Cookie. We're inside a half a furlong. It's Igugu Warrior Queen. Loud Cookie. Here comes pink day on the inside. But Igugu Igugu Warrior Queen just seems to be hanging on here. Igugu Warrior Queen takes it from Lau Cookie. And Kinky Moore is third, maybe Rough Silk. We'll just wait for and the car to come up and it is Igugu Warrior Queen. Paul Rhodes takes the handicap hurdle here. The levy board. Second was Lau Cookie for Darren Howes. Third was Kinky Moore for Stu Gray. Fourth was Lobbying for Karen Araganti. I missed fifth there. I'll just wait for the card to come back up. One, I think, uh, fifth was pink day for Alex Cherry.